Hi everybody, it's Ann Stinger, librarian at the Lawrenceburg Ivy Tech campus. This is one of a series of short videos designed to assist English 111 students. Today, I want to give you a short tutorial on images. Let's discuss the use of images in your English class. Although largely, you will be writing essays in your class, there is an occasional need to embed an image. First, let's look at why images are important. According to Terrace, images are an integral part of human history, culture, and society. From dabbing on rocks to inventing printing and photographic techniques, humans have continually improved the technology available, which enables them to create, share, and disseminate visual information. In other words, Pairing an image with text is an easy way to make any message more understandable and more powerful while making a visual and text connection. But where to start? Of course, anyone can use Google Images, but for academic purposes, it's better to find a credible source. Let's take a look at one example. I'm going to look at the collection at the Digital Public Library of America. I'll search using the term sunflowers. You can see that I came up with 388 images of sunflowers. As it shows, some of the images are photos of sunflowers, some are paintings, and some are scientific descriptions about the plant. Very cool. The best part about using a source like this is that provided this is for an education project, all of the images are fair use and not subject to copyright. And because they're posted on a trusted site like this, they are considered credible. Just don't forget to cite the image in your work. As always, if you have a question or need help, Stop by the library on the fifth floor and we're happy to help.